Teacher salaries hotly debated for months now across the state. Today in Pine Bluff, educators made sure their voices were heard, although district leadership disagrees on how it was done. THV 11's Ian Russell in studio tonight to break down why Watson Chapel faculty walked out and what the district has to say. Ian? Yeah, well, Rolly, certainly a huge talking point recently, and this morning Watson Chapel staff protested outside the district office. They say they're not looking to be rich here, just paid what they say is fair. Rosalind Robinson teaching is a passion for life. I love what I do. I love working with the kids. I love working with the teachers. But life comes with trials and tribulations. And right now, Robinson says she's seeing that firsthand. And it's time for change. We have to stand up. If we don't stand up, we stand for nothing. If we don't speak out, we're not heard. It's going to stay quiet. A handful of faculty from the Watson Chapel School District met across the street from Central Office Tuesday in protest for higher pay and to be paid more than once a month. I just feel like we need more appreciation, more value, and teachers, especially 20 years, no increase, no salary increase, no raise. That's horrible. Here's a bus driver who's been with the district 47 years, $18,000, $18,036.74, 40, we're talking about half a century. We took their concerns over pay raises and pay scheduling to Watson Chapel Superintendent Tom Wilson. He says he agrees raises are something for them to look at, just not right now. Uh, there is a way to handle things, and I don't mind talking to employees about that. Usually in the spring uh, is when we discuss salaries and salary schedules. Uh, be happy to talk to him. I'd be happy to talk to him uh, today. Wilson says he can't comment on things that happened before he got there or about any specific employees. And while raises are something they want to look into, he says the district has to balance other improvement projects as well. You signed your contract to be here this year. Uh, so, hey, let's, let's talk and then let's look at it in the spring and see what we can do. But for Robinson, there is no time to wait. She says she'll be pushing for more as long as she has to. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not mistreating my kids. I treat my kids well. I'm good to my kids. I just want to be able to not live paycheck to paycheck and to be able to support my family without struggling. I asked Robinson if she plans to walk out again. She says she's strongly considering it until those needs are addressed.